Are we about to witness a major new hydrocarbon province? Well, today we're going to take a look at the Andaman Sea uh, offshore Indonesia, and we're going to look at the planned well activity that Harbour Energy will shortly be taking part in. Now, the location map for today, here's the Timpan 1 well, and it's located halfway between Indonesia and Thailand, and in particular the uh, Banda Aceh and Phuket. These are two areas which, um, well, in the case of Banda Aceh, was in the news for all the wrong reasons back in 2004. Of course, Phuket is a very, very popular um, travel destination and featured in uh, a number of Hollywood movies over the years. But today we're going to uh, concentrate on the acreage that's within the Indonesian waters up in the Andaman Sea. And specifically, we're going to look at the uh, the Harbour Energy interests. Here is their operated block, Andaman 2, with two other blocks, Andaman 1 and South Andaman, which are, are operated by Mubadale. So here's the uh, the history of the licence, and this was, uh, this was Premier Oil um, before they became a part of uh, Harbour Energy. So Premier Oil um, basically were awarded the block back in 2018 uh, and following a series of farm outs and uh, acquisition of 3D Seismic, kind of getting ready now to drill a well uh, in sort of second quarter 2022. So here's the uh, equity in the um, in, in the the well that's coming up, it's Harbour, our operator, with BP and Mubadala Petroleum Partners in this joint venture. Now, it's been described in a number of uh, recent press releases as a play opener. It's certainly a, a play extension, and uh, indeed we think uh, if it goes down and finds something in the new horizon that it's targeting, it, it could actually open up a new play. Here's the location within the Andaman 2 block, and you can see there are actually lots of prospects and leads, so this will give a very vital data point in a region where there's lots of opportunities. Now, there are gas fields here, discoveries located to the uh, to the southeast, East, and we'll have a look at the uh, at, at a map showing how this area relates to <clears throat> all the um, the other discoveries in the region. In terms of the uh, the geology, well, this is a line that's basically running across uh, the north end of Sumatra Island, so it's it's basically moving across the Aran field here. And really, we're just using this to show that um, the, this is a tertiary sequence, and we're getting you know well in excess of, of five kilometres of ter tertiary section, and uh, we get a series of uh, t tertiary deeper centres that's typical of Southeast Asian geology. Um, we get localised reefs and build-ups uh, over basement highs, and you can see that there are sands developed here uh, in sort of the lows adjacent to some of these highs. Now, looking at the geological setting, and this is the approximate location of the Timpan 1 well, you can see that it's actually quite close to a deeper basin, this um, Magui Basin here, um, which would be potentially a, a source kitchen for generating hydrocarbons in this region and if we move on to have a look um, just highlighting some of the uh, the nearby fields here the JUA, NSO and Aran fields and you can see that uh, these are generally uh, Miocene age we believe that the Timpan 1 is actually uh, targeting some of these uh, either carbonates or indeed uh, sandstones within the uh, the late Oligocene. So here's a map and showing the basin activity and you can see the information we have within our Trove database. We have information on all the fields in the region. Lots of uh, lots of information to, to call on. And you can see there are a number of um, oil and gas discoveries generally down to the uh, to the southeast here to closer to Sumatra. Um, but this is the location of Timpan 1, so it's quite a, uh, quite a distance uh, northwest of, of the known discoveries to this point in time. Um, 
if we look at the seismic in this region and you can see that um, here we've got a seismic line that's running essentially from southwest to, to northeast and it includes the timpan structure the timpan utara and the halwa structures and they're all sort of four-way dip closures they appear to have very strong avo responses and uh, they also have flat spots now we'll look at these on the next slide in a bit more detail and here's the planned well, uh, the Timpan 1, and you can see that uh, in terms of the polarity, uh, we seem to be going from, um, from a hard to a soft here at the top of the reservoir. Then uh, this could, could essentially be a gas-filled um, uh, sandstone with an underlying harder aquifer. Um, so it, it looks about right in terms of the uh, the seismic response. Now I actually, when I first looked at this, I thought there was actually a, a tilt here, but here's a couple of horizontal lines to help you get your eye in. And you can see indeed um, these are quite flat looking. Perhaps, perhaps there's a, a, a subtle a subtle slope on that but that could be velocity in the overburden creating that the well is going to be targeting somewhere in the region of 300 million barrels of oil equivalent it's uh, spud is is imminent um, the entire play here's the timpan and it's going to be uh, drilled with the the west capella drill ship the the, the entire region um, harbor energy are, are talking of up to 12 tcf and, and 400 million barrels of, of condensate now the uh, the drill ship here um, built in 2008 with a, a maximum drilling depth of uh, over 11 kilometers and you can see a, a dual derrick um, so that's going to be a, a, a nice piece of kit to be uh, to be drilling out in the Andaman Sea. If we look at the development plan, well, it's very early days. Um, there is, of course, a, a terminal, and this is the best quality picture we've been able to find online. It's it's a little fuzzy, um, but you can see this is the Aran uh, LNG terminal onshore, um, just uh, just uh, some distance away from from where the, the drilling is going to take place. Now, this, as we understand it, was a liquefaction LNG, but um, as the Aran field declined in production, it was actually converted to a regasification terminal. Um, but who knows if there is a success. And and this uh, this schematic here is showing the, the FPSO parked over the Timpan um, drill center but you can see there's a Timpan North, there's a Sengar Utara and a Sengar Drill Centre. So potential for, for other fields that may be discovered in the future to actually uh, be tied back to this particular opportunity. So, you know, we'll watch this space and if people are interested in the, um, in the liquefied natural gas resources in the world, Here's, uh, here's the dashboard out of our trove for LNG. And we have a global coverage showing all the LNG terminals, both liquefaction and regasification terminals, in the US, Japan, all the way on down here through France and Mozambique. Now, it's uh, it covers all the past, the present, and planned uh, terminals and plants uh, that we see worldwide. In terms of the uh, the top operators, uh, you can see them listed in here. And uh, generally, um, lots more regasification than there are liquefaction um, plants at this time. Mainly uh, onshore, but we also feature up to uh, 22 offshore LNG plants. So it's a great source of information to find out about LNG. So conclusions, well, the well Timpan 1 should be drilling, should be spudding in May 2022. Um, they look really exciting structures and quite a few of them look alike. So uh, if, if one comes in, uh, it would certainly de-risk all the others. Uh, there's a large number of prospects in the region and that's why we think this is a really exciting play. Nearby the uh, LNG established uh, regas conversion potential for um, reconversion or to liquefaction. Uh, who knows, early days yet, but uh, time will tell. Certainly one to watch and we'll have follow-up videos on this channel to uh, see how the drilling results work out. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell if you want to be notified of our next releases. There's the contact information. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you back on our channel next time. Bye for now.